Hey, greetings, fellow Clashers. Um, Pete the King here. It's a Monday night, a little bit different doing a recap video on a Monday night, but we had a good war. We lost. It was a tough war. I have to tell you, personally, I'm disappointed at my attacks, and I'm sure some of the rest of us are disappointed, but um, we put up a good fight against a, uh, an Asian clan that had uh, higher heroes than we did, and uh, we we had some good attacks, and I'm, I'm doing this in part because um, uh, some of us, like Fork in particular, just had some sick attacks that I want to uh, to highlight here. So let's look at the war map. Um, we uh, had some, you know, um, Shez had a great attack on the Town Hall 10, which put us in the running, but obviously, um, you know, the Town Hall 10s in these wars kind of uh, can make the difference, but obviously if some of us, myself included, had gotten three stars, that would have uh, would helped. So um, with that being said, let's get on to the recaps here. Let's let's work our way down. Uh, Fork basically had a uh, another superstar performance. Um, his attack here has kind of uh, he's basically just taking the same attack and perfecting it, uh, which is he's bringing um, he's bringing his his group of, of what appears to be, yeah, 15 Valks. So he builds a funnel. He's got a nicely positioned uh, jump spell, which I think the jump spell is going to go in the core, and it does. And that's just critical because he can he can use a jump spell uh, to get in the core. And then it's interesting because what he does here with these hogs is um, drops hogs on both sides, he only brings like four hogs, but you can see they, they do a lot of damage at kind of a critical time of the raid, which is that time where you're basically, there's a time of the raid where you're trying to get your troops to outnumber uh, the defenses uh, and, and, and just, you know, uh, win, uh, win over the decisive balance. And, uh, and the hogs kind of, he deploys them in a way where they basically um, show up and sort of make that difference where at the time when the, the sort of the attack hangs in the balance, um, uh, things, uh, the hogs make a big difference. So here we've got, uh, we're, we're going to speed it up because it's a three star. So um, uh, these attacks, when they go well, obviously this is, it's a close attack, because, uh, but... Um, Man, he's got, um, you know, his uh, level 17 king, his level 21 queen, and they are uh, gonna gonna get the job done. So um, nice job. Uh, he's showing good, just good technique there. Use of a rage spell, which I, I'm gonna start incorporating. Um, he basically does the same attack uh, on base number four. Uh, so let's see here, and I think again. It's uh, what he's doing here is uh, he's incorporating a rage spell. I think incorporating a rage spell is something I'm going to start doing, and I think the reason is is because with the um, with the spring traps being upgraded, uh, you need um, to speed up your Valks to get them over the spring traps, and I think that that's what a rage does. I'm waiting to see when. Yep, there we go. He drops the rage. And now he's going to get the Valks into uh, the core. And again, the Hogs are being dropped at the back, but at a time when um, they really uh, distract, they're at a time when the defenses are distracted and he gets a lot out of them. So again, um, you can see what he's doing with this attack is pretty much just overwhelming uh, the base with Valks, but then Hogs at the same time. And I think what he's doing, which is, which is, I think it's new, is 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 he's bringing a rage spell, versus I think before, uh, before the upgrade, the spring traps would have said, um, bring, we're gonna speed it up, bring, um, bring three heal spells, but I think he's bringing two heals and a rage, and I think that's a good idea because there's that sort of, you bring that rage spell at that time of sort of maximum inflection when the when the Valks are in the core. And you're trying to basically uh, get to the point where you overpower the base, and um, 
and and the Valks are good at doing that because it's really it's really about a numbers game. Um, so uh, again, uh, really sick attack on four, um, five and six. Uh, Solch and I uh, came up short. Five was my number. I basically blew my attack on five, and then uh, uh, Solch had a good attack, but um, and I tried on six, didn't work out. Pono had a, a good attack here on seven, which we're going to show. Um, so there's good. You know the thing about these these Valk attacks is there's just there's really good funneling. You know when you get the three star, I feel like when you get a three star, it's because you have good funneling, and you take care of the CC, which he does here. He puts the queen in on the side where the dragon comes out, and uses the queen uh, to take out the dragon uh, and the wizards, which is which is critical because he has no um he's bringing um no you know, no poison spell. So uh, he's got the, uh, again, the Valks are in the core. It's kind of that time of maximum uh, distraction for the defenses. Now he's got basically all the defenses and aiming at the core. And I think he's going to bring Hogs in, and he does. Probably could have brought him in a little bit sooner. Um, but, you know, it's a nice use of Hogs. At that again at that sort of moment you bring him in at that moment when the Valks are in the core and the defense are distracted now you can see there the spring traps have are are a, are a beast and they took out like uh, uh, a lot of hogs got blown away by that spring trap so I think the spring traps these new spring traps are making a difference and um, it's something we have to keep an eye on so I'm going to speed it up again because it's a three star and uh, his troops are being clean, clean up at this point. He's got three hogs and, uh, and some Valks. So uh, Pono doing a nice job. Um, again, uh, uh, on uh, nine. And I think this is the last uh, three star we're going to show. So uh, uh, I'm... Kind of proud, although I'm bummed that we lost this war, obviously. But uh, this is uh, the first real Town Hall 9 three-star of my mini, uh, Account Pete the Prince. Um, so I'm going to do the basic. Uh, I'm going to do a Govaho here that's a little bit uh, heavier on the hogs. And I also bring some more wizards. So this is my basic attack for my mini, which is to um, use the Earthquake spell. Um, lure out the clan castle, get the dragon centered on the golem, bring out some wizards, kill the dragon, um, but also build the funnel. So I've got my uh, wizards uh, building the funnel on both sides, uh, drop the earthquake spell, got a nice white funnel at this point, um, and ha Valks are going in the middle here. You know, again, it's not the greatest Town Hall 9 base in the world. I mean, it's it's basically, an, I would call an entry-level, fully-packed Town Hall 9 in the sense that it has all the defenses. Uh, but they're kind of, most of them are Town Hall 8 strength, a couple of Town Hall 9. But um, healing up um, the core. Uh, so I'm pretty committed to using two heals, one as they're entering the core and one as they're in the core. Um, and then I send in the hogs, and I think... I do a good thing here in waiting on the heal spell. There's a lot of Valks. These are only level two Valks combined with the max Valks. And level two Valks is um, plenty for dealing with these town hall level eight um, uh, defenses. And uh, and so send in the, the hogs, uh, make it across. And uh, the heal spell there, um, not sure how much I got out of that, but... Um, um, Pete the Prince gets his first uh, three-star in war. So, um, you know, what I'd say is that I think that what we have to do as a clan, I know speaking for myself, is uh, we got to make some adjustments. Uh, I uh, tr I did a um, uh, friendly challenge against Forrick where I tried putting in a rage spell instead of the three heals. Uh, and... Um, and it worked, and I see that's what Fork is doing, and I think uh, so. We we just gotta you know gotta make some adjustments because uh, the game changes, and this these new spring traps obviously, um, you know, uh, require uh, us to adapt.
but um, really nice attacks. Uh, we had this war um, that I wanted to showcase, and uh, let's go get him the next time. Uh, Pete the King signing off. Bye-bye.